So today we're going to learn how to put voice recognition into any of your VR projects. Uh, obviously this will actually work for non-VR projects as well, but the advantage of VR is that with the Vive and the Oculus you actually have built-in microphones so you know that your user has access to one. So what well, the first thing we want to do is make sure if we go to help about Unity that we are on version 5.4 which just released this week as this is a feature that will not work with a previous version of Unity. So to get started, I've already imported Steam VR. I have a camera rig prefab inside, um, pretty standard stuff. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call it Voice Manager um, to continue. So let's create a cube, uh, which we will spawn every time that the user says cube, right? And let's also make it so that the cube spawns somewhere in front of our camera, so it's easy to see. So to that end, um, I've just created an empty game object. I've created a cube. Uh, dragged it in as a prefab. Now I'm just going to delete it from the scene. So let's go to voice manager. Let's add a component. And so you guys are going to click new script, uh, call it whatever you like. Uh, I've already pre-configured this. It's called voice recog. So let's just open it up and let's see what we have. So um, the first thing that we're going to look at is uh, the fact that we are declaring an array called m underscore keywords, right? And this array is going to store the list of keywords that we are going to look, that we are going to tell our keyword recognizer to look for. So in our case, you know, we only want to do, uh, we're actually going to change this to one, we only want to look for our cube, right? So anytime the user says cube, we want to do something with that. So with that in mind, uh, we've added the, the, uh, the keywords into the, the keyword to the array, and then we set that array as a new keyword recognizer. So Unity has a couple docs on this, but basically the basic idea is that uh, when this event fires, so when we recognize a phrase, we are actually going to add our own uh, logic to this, uh, which is why we created this method, uh, which takes the phrase recognized event args uh, argument. So once we have that, it's relatively simple. Uh, we're just going to look at the if args.txt equals m underscore keyword zero. So all that means is that if the phrase that we've recognized, if the text that they, that Unity thinks it is, is the same as our array, then we're going to instantiate a new cube at a random uh, x and z and the user is going to have some feedback on that. Now a couple different things, this is actually pretty powerful, what we can actually do is if for example we wanted to make sure that the user actually said cube, we could do something called args.confidence uh, as another parameter. We could say confidence level dot high. So this would only fire if Unity was extremely sure, the confidence level was very high that uh, the user said cube. Uh, your mileage may vary, but in my experience I found that I actually don't like using that. Uh, Unity takes a while, uh, whether it's Microsoft Speech or whatever, it takes a while to actually process the, the input, so I found it best to just leave it alone. But again, for longer phrases, uh, keywords or anything like that, you may want to use that. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I mean, if we go back to our scene, we drag our cube into the, uh, the corresponding slot here, and we save. We should be able to run our scene and uh, you will be able to just say cube and they should spawn in front of you. So if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, anything at all, or if you want more information on how to use this system and how powerful it really can be, let me know and of course I'll be happy to make a follow-up video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope this was helpful.